Hi, and welcome back to T-Stains. Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, so I'm gonna knock down the beehive and get that guy out of here. <laughs> Sweet. Ah, no, get up. <laughs> Run, bitches! I'm going to follow them. And, uh, I gotta get down. Oh shit, he's not going, going away. Might be okay. Go over here and hide in the bush. Perfect. Where the fuck am I looking? There we go, that way. Okay, I'm just gonna camp out here until that guy comes back maybe? Well, let's take a look. Oh, well, he's just standing there. Probably get him from here. Did I miss? There we go. I think I can, like, throw him off the edge of the cliff. Pick him up. I'm worried somebody's gonna come down that road. If they do, I'm just gonna drop him and run. Eh, I don't have enough fingers. Fingers. Ah. Okay. Oh god, I hear people. No, 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 no. This way, this way, this way, this way. All the way down. Around the corner. Let go. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked. Okay. I had to change up my camo. Uh, MXM116E1. What is it? Shut up. Uh, whoopsie. Is that like a, like a sniper? Oh shit, I gotta equip it. Do 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 do. Backpack. Weapon. Equip. Oh. Uh, um, like a machine gun. Cool. Alright. Nice. So one thing about the town I live in. It's full of lots of, uh, big truck oil rig pig, uh, I'm better than you, my truck's, my truck's super fucking loud, people. Oh, I hear footsteps. Where? Fuck, I gotta change my camo. Um, nope. Uh, uniform. Um, third. Oh, I see off. 50. 50. I'll do. 90% even walk crawling. Oh, fuck. Lay down, please. I heard a guy. I know a second ago over there was gonna be a guy. Hmm. Oh Jesus. I think they're all over there. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. Whew. That was scary. Man, this TV is really fucking dark. I gotta brighten it up a little. Can't really see much. Are we still recording? I haven't really checked in a while. Cool. It's not too often I get to record a game in uh, 60 FPS, 720p. A little bit I can't do 1080p, 60 FPS, so. Either one or the other. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside.
Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Perfect. So I'm gonna worm my way over to Sokolov's, uh, Sokolov's door. Shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. I feel like with 85% I can be pretty snaky crawling through here. Yeah, well, it's 55. Yeah. Should go higher. Yeah, 85 in here. It's at the northeast side, which is like right there. I'm just gonna kinda go here, hang out a bit, look around. Uh, do some of the tourist attractions and uh, come a merry way. I think that guy pisses off. Once that guy goes away, I can snake in there. What? Stop, don't. I didn't tell you to do that. Uh -huh. Okay. Just park it here for a minute. I guess if I take this guy out, I'll just go to sleep here. Yeah, let's try it. Perfect. Okay. Can I squeeze under this? Yes, I can. Anybody around? I hear people though. Where? Over there, somewhere. Huh? What? Who's that? Nobody. Friend of a friend. Fuck, where was he? Hmm. Nobody here. Yeah, that's right. Hey, right, there's his feet. I think he was like just behind this pole. That's why I didn't see him. God, I still can't see him. God, again? I need to get that guy. Go over here, turn around. Hopefully I can get him from like right here. What's wrong? Crap. Nice coming around. Where? Where? Hear him walking. I gotta take him out before he finds him. Or me. There he is. Oh, got him. Okay. Whew. That was scary. Now let's try this. Okay, here we go. I should probably change my camouflage. Uniform, uh, 30? 30. Alright. 55 isn't great, though. Let's 
see the guy over there. Shouldn't be a problem though. Please don't tell me there's a guy in here. Doesn't appear to be. And this is his door. Yeah, I made it. Sweet. This episode is going to be a little bit longer because we're getting to Sokolov and there's a nice big cutscene. So, which is good because it's at the end of the episode versus the beginning. When it's at the beginning, it really sucks. Vulcan's men. You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulcan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. So everybody's trying to fight for the shit that this guy's got. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside... Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Does that mean Snake is like speaking Russian? We just hear it in English? That'd be interesting. Major, this is Snake. 
Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? No one spotted me. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Deal. In there, buddy. <gasps> Trying to do a uh, coming, coming, huh? Freeze! <gasps> Spotted. Legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. Heh. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. <laughs> such a such a weird guy. Like, Sokolov is ours. In the later games is a bit cooler, but. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Ugh. Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? Nope. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. 
<laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! Whoa! Jesus. Got some kung fu shit on your ass. Dog! As you're back. Bet you it's sore. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Good night. I think it'd be ideal to hide somewhere first before you try making a call. This is a really long episode, I'm Major, sorry. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you alright? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Mm. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. There we go. Okay, so, uh, next episode of T-Stains, we'll find, uh, freaking dip dipshit over here that ran away. And, uh, hopefully get him out of here. Anywho, bye. Three. Searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear.